go. I've got a bit dark. I've got a sort of halo around my head, haven't I? The light, some, you know. I don't know how the light is going to turn on in this video. It's probably going to be gash, but anyway, we'll carry on. Right. So I'm back again, guys. Uh, and this will be the second video in 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 around a week, which is uh, uh, pretty extraordinary for me. I thought I'd sort of mix it up with the room in respect of how I'm I'm shooting this, and in the background over here, uh, over there, I've got our type on my retro pipe, uh, just for a bit of background sort of you know shizzle. Uh, still got me uh, CRTs here, guys. So you know I haven't um, haven't got rid of anything uh, to do with retro gaming. Got drawers here full of all my consoles. I've got all my consoles behind me here in drawers, and you know still got all my gear. Don't worry about that. Still got all my gear. Up there, I've got my PC CRT uh, VGA that I can use for uh upscaled stuff at 480p and you know dreamcast and all that shit anyway 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 enough of that enough of that enough of that purpose of this video the purpose of this video is to have a quick chat about the xbox one x now i alluded to you guys on a previous video that i'd put a pre-order in and and that pre-order turned up and arrived on tuesday of release and it's the project scorpio edition of the xbox one x now obviously that's an empty box but uh, trust me there was an xbox one x in there and xbox one x is now next door in the gaming room waste of time me showing you it guys you've seen it i'm sure and you don't even want to look at it it's gonna be boring as fuck you know um uh, scorpio edition had a couple of minor differences uh one was project scorpio was actually on the xbox one x itself and it is also on the uh, controller i've actually got the control here but you probably won't see it because the lights gash can you if i just tilt it there you can probably just see it down down there but it's the same control it's just got project scorpio blasted all over it and the project scorpio edition actually came with go i'm going orange now uh, the project scorpio edition came with a vertical vertical stand so you can actually put the xbox one x on its end and that's not the way that i choose to have my consoles but it was an extra that was in the Scorpio uh, special edition and they were actually the same price the units were the same price so it was a no-brainer for me now I'm sure some of you guys are thinking well why do you get one of those Xbox One X's basically because I could if I'm being honest if I'm being brutally honest because I could uh, uh, do I need it no is it that much different than the Xbox One um, <laughs> Graphically, it is superior. It's got more powerful GPU. It's got a higher clocked CPU and it's got more RAM. So uh, yes, the games uh, can look and, and run better, but it's not gonna blow your brains. I mean, it really isn't gonna blow your brains, you know, the difference between the two consoles. It's the same games you're playing. They will just look sharper and they might have a little bit more detail on them, but um, it's not a it's not a game changer by any stretch of the imagination it's exactly the same well okay it's slightly better with the xbox one x because it is more powerful but it's the same kind of thing that happened uh, uh, between the playstation 4 and the playstation 4 pro i bought the 4 i then bought the pro was it a life-altering difference no and take into account that the xbox one x is 450 pound in the uk it's not a cheap unit to buy um, but it is a convenient unit to buy if you don't want to go for a medium to higher powered PC format uh, to run your games on. I'm pretty privileged in the way that I've got some top tier um, uh, PC equipment and I generally now do more gaming and more current gen current gen current gen gaming on my pcs because they are really powerful i've got a 4k screen next door i can make use of that 4k screen with my gaming pc it works really well has been working really now for these 12 months at 4k um so it 
it's it is sort of swings and roundabouts. If you're not into PC gaming and you want a console, then the Xbox One X is the most powerfulest one you can buy. Is it going to change your world when you buy it? No. Um, <laughs> just being honest, guys, it, it's not, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it is a very nice console. It's really well made. It's very small for the, uh, for the power that it holds. I mean, it really is. Um, it's slightly, very much slightly longer and wider than the Xbox One S. However, it's slightly thinner than the Xbox One S. So it was being sold, I think, as being the smallest console that they've ever built. So I suppose if you take all the dimensions in, into consideration and just, and just use the surface area or the volume of it, um, it probably is smaller, but it, it's it's certainly a hell of a lot smaller than the original Xbox One. That was that was pretty hefty, and it's quite a heavy unit actually. I mean, there's a lot of shit packed into this Xbox One X, and it is a nice unit. It's very quiet. Um, so yeah, and one of the biggest things about the Xbox One X, and I'm sure you guys have heard this, it's about the size of the downloads for it. So if you've got original Xbox One games. Uh, whether it's digital or whether they are disc based that anything that takes advantage of the Xbox One X enhancements and I'm talking about the 4K enhancements and the higher um, uh, resolution textures there's masses of gigs of downloads to do I mean massive um, I was downloading for most of Tuesday I'd stored the queue up and it just went away and just went, uh, it, it, it just did its thing but it was it was downloading a lot a hell of a lot so if you've got a um, if you've got a weak internet connection or you've got caps on it then you might struggle um, I'm uncapped and I've got a pretty quick uh, fibre connection here so it's not really a concern for me but um, but it is a consideration you know I suspect for quite a few people but it, it's you know it's a mid-generation upgrade uh, it's supposed to be a PlayStation 5, apparently coming out in 2019, which is a couple of years away now, so I suppose it'll be uh, this kind of time, in two years' time. That'll be more powerful, and so the cycle continues. It, it's, you know, it's not a, a revolution, more an evolution in console gaming, but um, I'm glad Microsoft have done it, and they needed to do it. And, you know, because I've got the consoles anyway from various manufacturers I'm not a fanboy I don't class myself as a fanboy but it's quite nice to know that the PlayStation 4 fanboys will now be slightly shut up now that the Xbox One X has come out because it's it's more powerful but you know like I said the whole thing will just keep uh, going around and going around and going around till the next console comes out and and it'll start all over again but anyway Hope you, hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll speak to you again soon.